Hi and welcome to another video from The Essence of Clarity. My name is Sabina Straver, I'm a professional organizer and today I'm talking about a label maker. Very exciting. So any self-respecting organizer will definitely have a label maker. I recently had to change batteries and cartridge so I thought I'll walk you through the label maker I have, why I have this one and a few steps on how it works. So the first thing is I have a brother label maker. It's actually slightly more expensive than the other brands there but I've done a cost comparison and um, basically it looks like you're getting much more tape with this one than with other ones so they look cheaper but if you see the amount of labels you can make it works out well I also like that it's really robust and uh, once you're used to it it's really simple to use okay so first thing is when you have a label maker you have to put the batteries in there which is demonstrated here these are not my hands my daughter was kindly offering herself as a hand model she was very excited about it and then when your cartridge goes out you have to replace the cartridge also very simple it's kind of a click in system so you buy one they're not cheap but you they last quite a while and i tend to buy buy one have one in the machine and one spare one and then rotate Okay, using the machine is also quite simple. Once you're used to it, you basically type what you'd like. I normally use capitals because we want to see very clearly what we're talking about. That's why we have a label in the first place. Then, so you first type it, then you print it. So you have to actually tell the machine how many copies you want click print it comes out from the side you basically cut it with a very quick movement um, of your finger and um, it's it basically is a nice size there is some space at the beginning and the end which we tend to cut off in most cases because this is excess and then once you've got once you've got the label these ones are really easy to peel off they actually fold in the middle and yeah, very easy so in the example i'm showing you you can see that we made a label called david files and it's actually an extension of the video i had done organizing my desk and my office space um, so one of the things that came out of that is that he has papers that he needs to find very easily and if i don't make a place then they float so he now has a file which is labeled which is perfect and it's on my desk in case he he looks for it okay final thing so we know how the machine works and how to kind of set it up what not to do when you are using or buying a label maker and this has been basically it's my opinion but it's coming from a couple of years of experience so what not to do don't buy all these different labels in terms of different sizes just use one simple size that works for 95 99% of the time um, don't use different colors why because you have to kind of swap the cartridge around and it just gets confusing another thing is uh, do not use the different types of letters and, and italics or underscore the more choices you give yourself the higher the chances are that you're going to feel overwhelmed and you're not going to use the label maker or it's not efficient so if i were to use different colors different fonts and un, um, bold italics for example when setting up um, something on a desk or something in a filing cabinet it would just be really confusing to the eye to see why are they all different shapes and sizes and colors organizing is meant to be super simple and the other thing is it's it's easier to do if you just stick to one font one size one color and the other thing is it's much cheaper because um, you are looking at 25 30 dollars per cartridge and i don't want to 
have all these different ones but that's personal preference as well if you absolutely love your label maker which I do think that if you invest in one you will maybe you see this as a creative outlet and then by all means these are some of my top tips regarding to a label maker I hope they've been very useful if you haven't already please subscribe I'm working really hard on this channel I'm getting some lovely feedback and I love to hear from you guys so very excited to make the next few videos and hopefully you've really benefited from this video see you later bye